Hey guys, so we're going to be writing a test for this function and this other function over here. Um, basically, we're going to test them both at the same time, make sure we're able to create that link, and then make sure that link is valid. I'm actually able to um, go to this express server with this link, and it does work. So first off, we're using Redis for this. So I'm going to start up um, my Redis server. So just by typing Redis server, we can start it up and it is now um, running. So next things we're going to do is I'm going to create a test for this. So create confirm email link dot test dot ts. And all we're going to do here is we're going to say describe. And here's going to be our function. And here I'm going to say um, make sure create confirm email link works. And I don't think right now we have like more than one test. We could actually just turn this into a test and then maybe later I'll switch this to describe if we need to do more than one test. But there's really only one thing I need to make sure that it works. Well actually there might be a couple things. We might convert this over in a second. Um, but to do this, we're going to call that function. So create confirm email link. And I need to pass it a few things. And by the way, we don't have to start the server in this test because we already have it automatically starting. So as we can see, we need a URL, which we're getting from process.env.host test host. So that's what we set up yesterday. Um, and then the user ID is the user that we want to um, create this uh, email link for. And right now we don't really have a user that we want to do it for. So I'm going to set up a before all. And what we're going to do is set up the user there. So I'm going to say create um, type one connection. And let's make this asynchronous. Await that. And then I'm going to say user dot create and we'll dot save that to save in the database and we'll say user and we also need to await this and so fields email is going to be bob5 at bob.com and password is going to be I guess we should have this hashed and stuff, um, but I think that's fine for now. And all I want to do this for is, so now I have a user ID. So I can say const user ID, and I should say this is let, because we're gonna be using it down here. So user ID is equal to user.id. Okay, so we're creating a user down here, or at least before this test is run, and we're setting the ID. So that's the user I want to check this for. So user ID. And then lastly, we need to pass in a Redis instance. And not this. And this is coming from that library that we installed. IO Redis, I believe. There we go. And Redis. And do I import it? Is that the default import? We can see how we did it in start server. And yeah, cool, that's exactly how we want to import it. And then close that. Okay, so this is going to give us a URL back. And I need to say as string, and also as string for both of those. Does this not let me cast it to a string? I'll just set the default equal to an empty string. Okay. So I have created this confirmation link. So now once I've created it, two things um, should happen. I should have updated something in Redis. So, right, we set something and it should expire after a little bit. The other thing is um, we now have this URL that we need to test and make sure that it works. So I wanna basically hit that URL um, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to make uh, a request to our server because our server is running. And the way I'm going to do it is by using this library called node fetch. 
there's a lot of them out there that you can just make request axios um, this one's pretty simple and it's similar to fetch so I like it so I'm going to be installing this and using this so let's add this yarn add node fetch and we can import node fetch and also I guess I'm going to have to install the types for this as well what we're going to do is we're going to just do a git request to this URL and see what happens now after we make a git request to this URL what should happen is um, if we look over here, we should get OK back. Um, and it should uh, say invalid after we've already requested it once, which it currently does not do. So like check out our code here. So we're doing redis.git, but we never like kill the um, ID or uh, remove the key, right? So we're getting the ID here, but we are able to confirm it again which is okay in this case, but I think it's better to remove the ID from the database um, or from Redis once we have confirmed their user ID or once the ID that we generated. Okay, so let's also install yarn, the types for node fetch, and then I can import it up here. So let's go ahead and request this. So I'll say response is equal to await fetch URL. And it's actually not just, actually it is URL. Uh, I was thinking it wasn't just URL because I forgot we actually do append confirm to it, so it's perfect. Um, we need to make this asynchronous. And fetch is not liking it um, I think it just doesn't have the right type I'm guessing can I invoke an expression whose type lacks a call signature all right so I think what we need to do is just import it like so maybe no nope. <laughs> then it's like this this is the last thing I try usually cool and Oh yeah, this is gonna be a promise. So good thing TypeScript caught this for us. So when we call this function, it's returning a promise. So let's await. All right, cool. And we have response here. Let's go ahead and we can say, I'm, I think we're returning a, over here, just a string, right? Not JSON data right now, that's fine. What we can do for that is say const text is equal to response dot text and that should be a promise again and I'm just going to console log the text because I don't know what we're going to get um, we should get okay or invalid but I want to make sure it does in fact give us that and I don't want to run these tests over here over and over every time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in watch mode so force exit so instead I'm going to say watch um, and I'm going to start this yarn test and um, after this starts up I shouldn't have to restart it every single time alright so we can see server is running on localhost 4000 so that was our setup and cool so it's running this only this test that's exactly what I wanted and it passed and okay we see the word okay so I think that was from our console log over here. So it in fact, it did say okay. So let's go ahead and expect that. So expect um, text uh, to equal, okay. Um, oops, it looks like um, we, I guess when we, I saved this, it reran the test and looks like, I don't know, that the user ID up here, or not user ID, um, when we create the connection, looks like it already has the name default and never closes the connection. Um, there might be a way to check whether the connection is already open before we open another one, but I guess I can just control C this. Um, I'm not sure the best way to avoid this error happening and to be able to just quickly iterate through the tests. I'm gonna have to play with that a little bit. 
Okay, so I get okay. So there's two things I wanna check now. Um, I wanna make sure one, confirm is equal to true for this user. And two, um, we remove the key from Redis. So let's check the first thing. So I'm gonna say const user is equal to user.find1. And we're just going to say user I or where user ID is equal to, or actually it's just ID, is equal to user ID. So we're, we're finding the user that we have here and we expect user.confirm, or confirmed I believe is what it's called, um, to, I think to be true, to be truthy. There we go. And let's see, it's possibly undefined. So I guess what I should do is I should also check that. So if user So I don't know, this is not really part of our test if we're not able to find the user. I think actually I'm just going to go ahead and say um cast it. Um, or maybe I guess I should really just cast it to a user if it'll let me. There we go. I'm gonna assume we get a user back. There's no reason to like check and make sure it's undefined and things. If it is undefined, we have a, a different problem because we didn't create it up here um, correctly. All right, so there's that. And then I also want to, um, I guess let's keep a handle on our Redis instance. pass it in here so redis dot git and I guess there's not a great way um, to get I guess we could do it with the URL um, what I wanted to do is check if the ID is still in redis but I guess we're, we're returning the ID on the very end so what I could do is say um, chunks is equal to URL dot split and we're going to split by a slash and then I can get the last one which is going to be the uh, redis we'll call it key is really the better name for it chunks and we'll get chunks dot length minus one so what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the ID from the URL which is the last thing right so I split by slash which turns this string into an array, and I'm getting the last element, which is the ID. And so I now have this key, and now I wanna get this key, and I expect this to be undefined. So, um, and I think I have to await that. So expect, and yeah, get the key, expect value dot to be um, I guess undefined or maybe null. I don't know which one it'll be. So we'll, we'll keep this for now and then we'll see what it is. And by the way, this test should fail. Let's make sure it does indeed fail. Um, and let's see. If it doesn't fail, okay, cool, it does fail. So we do go ahead and get an ID. This is what I expected because we have not actually removed the key. So let's do that. So start server. So after we actually successfully update this and confirm it, I'm gonna say wait redis.remove. I wanna remove a key. Um, I don't know how you remove a key using this. I guess we could set the ID to, okay, so I looked it up and we can use delete or del to destroy this key. And so it should no longer be in there and we can run our test again. And I guess I really should just turn watch off cause it's getting messed up. Oh, that's okay. And I don't know if there's anything else I wanna check with this. And yep, so we get null. That's what I was wondering to be null. Null makes more sense for it to be the thing that it returns. And I don't know if there's anything else I wanted to test with this. 
I guess the other thing we can test is um, I pass in or I go to that URL with a bad ID and that doesn't give me anything. So let's try that. And I'm going to create the Redis instance up here. So Redis will equal new Redis. And so we don't have to use it here. So I'm going to go ahead and split this up into two tests. So describe. Um, and we're going to be testing this. Alright, so test one, we're going to do make sure it um, confirms user and clears key and Redis. So the second test, I want to say test um, sends invalid back if bad key or bad ID sent. Okay, so in here what I want to do is just like this bit right here. And I guess this is kind of a controversial test right here, or at least including this test in this file, because really um, this bit right here is only testing uh, this function right here. It's not really testing this. Um, and I'm putting it here. I don't know if this is, I should split this off and actually put it in its own folder. I think I'm going to leave the test for now and then next video I think I'll split this up because I think that makes more sense. Alright, so sends invalid back if the if a bad ID. So what to create a bad ID what we're going to do is just like put some random numbers or something. So process.env.testhost slash confirm slash and then the ID goes at the end, so I'm gonna just like put that. And our response should be invalid. Okay. We'll go ahead and test this again. And we'll see what that what that gives us. So cool, both tests work. So I think that's all I want to do for this video, guys. I think what we'll do next video is clean up these tests. Um, and I might split them up and also split out, do some refactoring of this code and clean it up. But this is kind of the idea of what I wanted to do to test these. Um, I'm also curious, I, I was thinking a lot about how I wanted to test these, um, what you guys think of this method if you would test this in a different way. But that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching.